This video is example number two of applying uh, permutations to a statistical physics type problem. And what we're going to consider uh, in this video is suppose that we have k number of identical objects and we want to place them into n number of boxes and we have more objects and we have boxes and we're allowed to put multiple objects in each box. And suppose we have this kind of a configuration where box one, or not a configuration, but a distribution where box one has k1 number of identical objects, box number two has k2 number of identical objects, this has k3, this has kn number of them, um, in this kind of a fashion. What is the probability of obtaining this kind of a distribution? Now, here, this problem differs from the previous video that we considered. In the previous video, what we had was in permutation problem number one from digital-university.org. Here, we had k number of different objects to be distributed into our n number of boxes. And we were saying, well, suppose we have k1 objects in here. Well, now these are different objects. The order doesn't matter, but these are different objects now that we are placing into each one of these boxes. They're not identical objects. And what we found was the number of ways that we could have achieved this kind of a distribution is the total number of objects, k factorial, divided by k1 factorial times k2 factorial times k3 factorial all the way out to k sub n factorial. So these we could think of as repeated objects in each one of the boxes. Now here, for this problem, when we're dealing with identical objects, if we ask this question, well, how many different ways can we um, achieve this kind of a distribution? Where in here there are k1 number of objects, here k2 number, here k3 number, here there's a kn number. How many different ways can we achieve this distribution? And the answer is, since these are all identical objects that we're dealing with, there's only one way that we can achieve this particular kind of distribution. And you could sort of see it for yourself if we go back and apply a formula, k factorial divided by, well, all of these here are identical objects, k1, k2, k3, through kn, so all these down here are we can think of as one object repeated k number of times. So this is just going to be one. So when we're dealing with identical objects, the number of ways that we can achieve this particular type of distribution is just one. When we had different objects to put into each box, then there were many ways that we could achieve this distribution given by this formula. But when the objects are all identical, then there's only one way to obtain this kind of a distribution. OK, now let's ask this question. We have k number of identical objects, and we have n number of boxes to put them into. This was just one particular kind of distribution. What is the total number of distributions that are possible? So this problem, actually, we have already encountered in our previous videos, which you can find on our website at digital-university.org. If you go to the section on combinatorics and probability and look through the videos, you see we dealt with three or four different videos concerning combinations with repeats. And that's what this is. Here we can think of it as an identical object repeated k times. And 
we can put it into each box multiple times with repeat choices. How many times could we do that or how many different ways could we do that? The formula was c to the n plus k minus 1 over k, where k is the number of identical objects n is the number of things that we are distributing those objects into multiple times in each one of these different things. For example, let's just suppose that we had, say, 11 marbles that we were going to distribute among four people. And the only rule is, is that each person can receive multiple marbles. We're not saying that this one can only have two and this one can only have at the most four. Uh, there's no, there's no rules like that. It might be in one distribution. This person might receive all the marbles. This person may receive none of the marbles. What's the total number of ways that we could distribute those 11 marbles amongst the four people? And the answer was C to the N plus K minus 1 over K. Now, in this problem, K is the number of marbles we have to distribute. N is the number of objects or the number of boxes or the number of people, whatever, the number of things that we have to distribute them to. And each object or each person can receive multiple marbles or multiple objects. So the number of ways that we could achieve that distribution would be C, N plus K, that's 15, minus 1 is 14, over k is 11, so this is the binomial coefficient of 14 over 11, and let's see, that will equal 14 times 13 times 11 factorial divided by 11 factorial, and 14 minus 11 is 3, so that's 3 factorial, which is 3 times 2 times 1. This is 6. Goes into there 2. So the number of ways that we could distribute the 11 marbles amongst four individuals is 14 times 26. And let's see for the calculator, that is 364. And again, we went through this kind of quick because we have, in previous videos, we have considered this combination with repeats type problems. Where here we have 11 identical objects that we're going to distribute amongst four people. Each person can receive multiple objects. Now, to go back to our problem, then here, k is the number of identical objects, n is the number of boxes to distribute them into, so this comes out to be equal to n plus k minus 1 factorial divided by k factorial times this minus this, that's n minus 1 factorial. So this expression is the total number of distributions that are possible. The number of ways to get this particular distribution is 1. So the probability of getting this particular distribution is 1 divided by all the number of distributions that are possible, which is this. So we have the probability of achieving that particular 
distribution is 1 divided by this n plus k minus 1 factorial, try to keep things in focus now, divided by k factorial times n minus 1 factorial, or this would be equal to k factorial times n minus 1 factorial divided by n plus k minus 1 factorial. And that's it. That's our answer. So here, in this case, the problem is somewhat simplified because these are all identical objects and the number of ways of achieving any, ty any particular distribution is only one. If there are not identical objects, then there might be, then there can be multiple ways of achieving a particular distribution. But when they're identical, there's only one way, and the total num the total number of distributions possible is this. So the probability of achieving any particular distribution is just this. And this problem is analogous to um, both Einstein statistics where these number of identical objects can be thought of as identical photons, for example. And the different boxes can be thought of as different energy levels that are occupied by the photons. Um, okay, anyway, that's it for this problem. Um, come back and join us for the next video. We're going to try and consider one more example of applying permutations and combinations to a statistical physics type problem.